Uh, this Tuesday, we are talking spring cleaning because, of course, we're right in the thick of <laughs> mm -hmm. spring starting up. And a lot of you are thinking, you're looking around your home thinking, right? What am I going to do about this house? It's a mess. Oh, yes. Lord. Yes. Well, joining us today, this is Liz Smith. She's with Made for Cleaning Services, LLC. <laughs> Good here morning. On the coast. She is here to give us tips, Bill, on how to get our spring cleaning going. Mm -hmm. She's going to clean up the house, and I love it. <laughs> Liz, you got so much going on here. I mean, this is this is uh, this is a big deal. So get yes. us started. What do we got? Yes. Um, good morning, South Mississippi. My name is um, Leah Smith. I'm um, the executive executive maid of Made for Cleaning Services. I'm a professional organizer as well. We're organized by Beth, and I also have a laundry company, which is the laundry co which is the laundry company. We service the Mississippi Gulf Coast area. Area. We're a top tier um, maid service located here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Okay, so you know all about yeah. cleaning and organizing. Yes, yes. yes I do. 24-7. Yes. The average American spends over a thousand hours a week mm. just in household chores. So oh, um, a thousand hours a week. A th yeah. Over a thousand hours a week. We're not talking about a 30 minutes here, 10 minutes here, 20 minutes here. Um, um, things that you do in your car, you know how you clean out your car, mm -hmm. you clean out closets. Then you had that burst of energy where I'm going to clean the whole closet out. <laughs> <laughs> I do that and, until you go, oh, I'm See what happened was. Right. <laughs> yeah. So with that being said, I have some daily tidy up tips that will help anyone. Okay. Um, if you have ADHD or anything like that, um, mm. with tidy number one is complete a load of laundry daily. Just one. Just one. Just one. Complete. Make it easy for I'm yourself. close to that. When I, I say do complete, the laundry, means so, okay. take it out the dryer, fold right. it up, and put and it don't up. Don't leave it in the dryer. Because then <laughs> you wash something and they leave it in the dryer. You're like, okay, now I feel oh, heard. you're putting me behind. I feel yeah, hurt. And okay. then number two is start by making your bed. When you make your bed in the morning, um, it gives you a sense of freedom. It gives you a sense of I'm up, I'm ready for my day. Okay. And number three is be happy with clean enough. Everybody is not meticulous. Everybody mm -hmm. is not OCD. So just be just be good with clean enough. That, right. That's cool. And then prioritize and declutter. What I mean by that is when you prioritize, be like, okay, I'm gonna do the kitchen today, or I'm gonna okay. just do yeah. one draw in the kitchen. That's an accomplishment, and that's clean enough. And then also we have know your high traffic areas, mm -hmm. meaning um, at my house, it's my kitchen because my kitchen is an open floor plan. Mm -hmm. And I all the floors, mm -hmm. all that. And with that being said, with my floors, I have three tips to maintain floor care, which is sweep and vacuum daily. It's, it don't matter if you just do one room. It don't matter if you do the whole mm -hmm. house. Um, damp mop, just mm -hmm. take like a Swiffer right. or a mop and put some nice smelling cleaning solution on there that has a disinfectant in there and mop when everybody go to sleep. Right. When and everybody then, goes to sleep. <laughs> or perhaps <laughs> when, when you want to go to sleep. Maybe when your significant other isn't there and you, <laughs> and you mop and then she comes in and goes, it smells good in here. And I'm like, yeah, it does. It, it's going to argue some brown yeah, it does, <laughs> Well, Liz, Liz, we're almost out of time, but I don't okay. want to have us oh, yeah. go without oh, yeah. talking about this. this. Over here. Yes. Right here. And so this right here is um, this right here is a DIY project that's under sixty dollars. Um, you can take the the, dra the draws out and carry it around, or it's good for elderly people. Oh, it has wheels. It has wheels. Is, and then you can put anything in those baskets. And you can, not you can get after Yeah, you can put anything in there. And when you're done, it's good for small spaces. The summertime coming. Oh, you just cover it up. And you just cover oh. it up. And you know what? This is a, a shower curtain. Okay. Okay. So when you go out, so when you go outside for camping, you can just take the shower curtain off, do like this, stick it in there. Boom. Or put it on the ground. Boom. And do it like this. Wow. Well, I feel look, like we, we just won something on the prices. I right. do. That I do too. Awesome. And Liz, we are completely out of time, but I feel like we could talk to you for 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so. Liz was just getting started. Thank so, y'all so much for having me. Yeah, this is made an honor. for cleaning. If you're fired looking up for, about cleaning, that that's one. right. Facebook. But hey, we're going to get fired up about yes. about made our for own cleaning homes services, over here. LLC. Just look me up on Facebook. And as you see my logo, um, that'll be my lady right there. Okay, and I need um, to just <laughs> <laughs> get on it, Bill. Anyway, we'll have more Good Morning Mississippi coming up. Thank you. <laughs>